Hi, welcome to this animation on carbocation stability. All carbocations have a trigonal planar geometry, and four types are shown to the immediate right. A tertiary carbocation has three alkyl groups bonded to the carbocation center. A secondary carbocation has two alkyl groups bonded to the carbocation center, and a primary carbocation has one alkyl group bonded to the carbocation center. A methyl carbocation only has hydrogen atoms bonded to the carbocation center. The more substituted the carbocation, the lower the energy, so these carbocations are ordered in terms of increasing potential energy from bottom to top. Since they all have a trigonal planar geometry, they are sp2 hybridized, and each has a vacant p orbital. So why is a more substituted carbocation lower in energy? Let's look at the tertiary carbocation on the far right to answer this question. The sharing of an electron pair from adjacent carbon-hydrogen bonds to the vacant p orbital is shown. Only one sharing example is depicted, but for the tertiary carbocation, with three alkyl groups, all nine CH bonds can share electrons. The sharing of electrons allows the distribution of the positive charge over many atoms, thus lowering the energy of the molecule. This is called hyperconjugation. Inductive effects also stabilize positive charges. This is a donation of electron density through a single bond. In this animation, the pair of electrons from the single bond shown reside more toward the positively charged carbon, thus helping to reduce its positive charge. As in the case of hyperconjugation, the fusion of the positive charge lowers the energy of the molecule. For a tertiary carbocation, there are three sigma bonds that can donate electron density, thus making it the lowest energy carbocation of the series. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.